بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. Today the gloves are coming off. They are coming off for the for the lazy men out there. Those men, because I've been reading from different different posts where men are talking about that they want wives that make money, that have good jobs. And I'm sitting here, I'm like thinking like, what what? Why is the man a concern about that? When, when a man is looking for a wife, why is he concerned how much money she makes? Why is he concerned where she lives? You know, in a, does she drive a car? Does she? Why? Subhanallah. You are a man. You are, you are the provider. You, you, when you marry your, your wife, when you marry the woman, you have to provide for her. In Islam, we are taught that men have to provide for her a place to sleep. Mean a house, a place for, for her to cook, a place to eat, a dress. You have to provide that everything for her. So it doesn't matter if your wife is working or not. That does not take away from your from your duty as a husband. So I don't know why men are so concerned about that today. So I'm thinking like, make your choice. Take your pick. Do you want a good wife for yourself and a good mother for your children? Or are you looking for a woman that's going to provide for you? Subhanallah. Are you looking for a woman that's going to be bringing, me, bringing in money so you can be lazy? Is that what you're looking for? Subhanallah. No. We are men. We are the provider. Allah Azza wa Jai gave us that responsibility. Many times we see men talking about how women should do this, women should do this. But we men, we also have to take care of our, 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 our duty, our, our responsibility as a, as a man to provide for our wives. So we shouldn't be that concerned. A man should not be... It's one thing if you say, you want a wife that's educated. Alhamdulillah. But to say now, you want a wife that has that's a doctor, that's making about $100,000 a year, that knows how to make money, that's a hustler. What? Ah, uh, wallahi, sometimes sometime be careful what you wish for. Because you could marry a woman like that, and she come into your house, and now you're crying. Because she's, not a, because she's busy working. And then you complain. She's busy always at work, always at work, coming home late, and now you're complaining. So be careful what you wish for. Ask Allah Azza wa Jal to give you a good, dutiful wife, a good wife that will be a good mother to your children. But you are the provider. If the woman wants to work, there's no problem with that. As long as that's what she wants and it's a good place and she wants to work. And guess what? A wife working doesn't mean that. The man can be lazy now. It doesn't mean she's forced to pay the bill. She's not forced to pay the bill. She can make her money and put that money in her pocket. Whether she wants to spend it on, on you or not or help you, that's her business. That's her problem. But you, you are a man. The Muslim man, the Muslim husband is responsible over the wife. He has to make sure that he takes care of her. He provides for her. He gives her food to eat. Everything is from his pocket. If she wants to help, alhamdulillah, that's fine. But there's no pressure on her. If there's any time your wife wants to quit her job, say, okay, no problem, honey. You want to quit your job? That's fine. That's fine. I'm still going to provide for you. That's it. We are men. That's what we're supposed to do. Do not depend on your wife's money. Well, like, this, is, this is just weak as a man. May Allah Azza wa Jalla protect you and I from that. May Allah make us strong men. Rijal, men that will provide for their wives and, and children. And, be, and, be, and Prophet Sallam said, whatever a man spend on his, on his family, whatever you spend on your family, Allah Azza wa Jal will reward you for that. So be patient and be men and work. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.